Hello, everyone, and we are back once again with another episode of the Young Flesh Podcast. And this week, we're gonna talk about spontaneity. And、uh, one of the reasons why we're doing this is because we're trying to come up with a topic today, as opposed to prior to today. And it was fitting that we talk about this, and it's also fitting now as we are trying to record this. Our <laughs> Uh, our friend, our good friend Lorenzo, who shows up every week, is actually unavailable <laughs> for.、Uh, well, no one really knows. We just couldn't reach him,、uh, <laughs> so we have to do this spontaneously, just the two of us.、Uh, so yeah, that also makes it very fitting. <laughs> very.、Um, yeah, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun episode. Maybe a bit shorter, just because there's only two of us, and. If you're a really big big fan of Lorenzo's, well,、uh, tough luck. <laughs> He's not here today. <laughs>、uh, so yeah, so spontaneity.、Uh, what when you think of that, what kind of comes to your head? You know, lots of things pop in my head.、Uh, you know, it's like a surprise. You know, yeah. I, I think of it as like a surprise. You know, like oh, you know. Um, like one thing I like to do is not really plan for things, which is kind of、okay. bad. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, pre planning is always good. But I, I don't know. Over the years, I've kind of just enjoyed going with like the typical like flow. You know,、hmm. um, yeah, I think it's it's nice. You know, it keeps it keeps things interesting. You know, so you don't like you kind of eliminate expectations for things. So.、Hmm. Like always, will always go well, unless it it really doesn't. Then it it's <laughs> it goes really bad and poorly. Then that's bad. But yeah, yeah. Like、um, like I don't know. I feel like I don't necessarily like. I'm not always on social media. Like I don't like to text my friends or I don't like、mm. to talk to them、um, on any platforms either. Like via texting,、uh, calling, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, like. Um, yeah, I, I like to talk to my friends. That sounds bad, but like, <laughs> it's just so draining when you have、mm. multiple conversations and you gotta keep up with one another. Like, my friends don't like it when I do that. Well, like some of them don't. They probably they're like, "Yo, what happened to this guy? It's been like a month," and that respawn <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah, so like to continue a conversation, you know. <laughs> um. But yeah, like you know, without really like texting them all the time and stuff, like, like I've had some friends mention it's kind of like more like a spontaneous thing, where、yeah. they'd be like, "Oh, yo, like you down to hang out?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm down." Like I would hit them up and be like, "Yo, you free?" They're like, "Yeah, let's let's do some." So it's kind of like that, and then I feel like that also brings a lot more meaning. Like not that like friendships lose meaning when you talk to them. But it just brings a lot more meaning to like, I guess, the time spent together with friends. So、mm-hmm. like, if it's been a while, you kind of catch up on things. You know,、um, you know, you have more things to talk about. You know, it's always like a good time.、Uh, you know, learning what they've been doing, and then like you know, so on and so on.、Um, yeah, I think it's it's just it's a nice way to、uh, to put less stress on yourself. Yeah. Um, and overall, it's just a good time. Yeah, you definitely, you know, that was a really good starting point. I would say because you brought up quite a few things on a common now,、uh, and like I definitely agree with what you're saying about how it feels more valuable and more meaningful when when you kind of have that time away and、uh, kind of have more to talk about, have more to. You can you kind of give yourself time to miss them a little bit, right?、Mm-hmm. And that kind of scarcity, almost literally in terms of any market, that's what drives up the, the value, right? So、yeah. in many ways, it definitely makes sense. And、uh, a lot of people say that why relationships back in the day、uh, worked out much better for a longer time or whatnot is because you know they you couldn't just text them. Uh, all the time, where even just video call them all the time, and、mm-hmm. there, there is you know more time spent apart, and that that really helped people、uh, want to be together 
right? It really uh, led them to really value the time they do spend together and make it more meaningful in that sense. Um, so in that, in that, in all respect, I definitely get what you're saying. And in, with certain people, uh, I definitely feel like I do the same thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, I do quite like that. And when you are free and you just hit them up and have that spontaneous kind of uh, hangout interaction, it's definitely really nice a lot of the times. Mm-hmm. Other thing you said was about how um, yeah, it eliminates expectation, uh, but also sometimes things don't do uh, don't go well. Sometimes things can work out poorly, uh, but it's definitely nice sometimes to have no expectations on, on what you're doing and just kind of go with the flow completely. And a lot of time, that's when you could experience uh, new things and have uh, very unexpected, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, things happen to you and be in those situations. And, and I was even say that a lot of those situations, when things don't go well, when things go uh, poorly in an unexpected way, it ends up being a very memorable and meaningful experience and you could get a lot out of it. So mm-hmm. in that way, it's not necessarily even a quote to quote bad thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm glad you brought that up because it's definitely something interesting to think about that a lot of people might not. And mm-hmm. I just kind of wanted to touch up on it and just kind of talk a bit more about that. And I feel like there's something else you said I wanted to comment on, but I can't really remember. So, uh, kind of rip. Um, He's losing power, guys. He's losing power. Yeah, guys. losing power. <laughs> uh, if you if you if you get it, it's because you listened to our uh, last episodes, last week's episode on knowledge. Uh, very very interesting stuff. Check it out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Lorenzo was in that episode <laughs> for those Lorenzo fans out there <laughs> biggest fan base obviously uh, <laughs> uh, well uh, well, I guess something that I want to talk about when it comes to um, spontaneity for me is that a lot of times for me to actually not all the time but a lot of times especially when I have so much going on I definitely feel like for me to actually be spontaneous, I need to almost prepare myself to be uh, spontaneous. So in the sense of um, with school, you have so much to do, right? So being on top of everything, even get ahead, that allows you to have more freedom in your scheduling. So if anything happens, uh, anything like, you know, a friend reach out or whatnot, you actually have time to, um, well, go out with them and hang out with them without it affecting all the other things that you have going on in your life already that, that you know for sure that you want to do. So you don't have really have to think too much about, okay, do I want to do this or do that? It just makes the, it makes it easier for you to do it because you could do both. You, you kind of set yourself up to do both by, by staying on top of things, by getting ahead of things. And for those people who struggle with being spontaneous, there are different ways to kind of help yourself be open to spontaneity and avoid some of the drawbacks that a lot of people see with being spontaneous. So you could kind of get all the benefits with it and really limit the amount of drawbacks that that cons, right? Uh, So that's one of the things that I would say that I try to do. And I would say something else I try to do is I have a lot of stuff ready uh, with me. Like I pretty much always carry my backpack with me and that allows me to just be ready for a lot of things to happen uh, that are, you know, unexpected, that are spontaneous, allow me to kind of go to different places and be in different situations and be able to really maximize that experience, you know? Mm -hmm. So I would say like I have... uh, I have a couple of sporks with me and on the other end, uh, bottle openers. So if I get into a situation, you know, that, that maybe, uh, you know, you, you accidentally go for a picnic. You have something to eat with instead of your hands. You have hand sanitizer with, with me, right? So, so 
uh, you can clean yourself up if anything、uh, goes poorly, and you don't have to, you know, go home right away or or deal with that,、uh, you know, because because you kind of prepare for that.、Uh, mm-hmm. And having like a portable、uh, charger with you, and like、uh, you know, charging cable and all that, very useful. If if you're planning on being home originally, but then you have to be out for longer because you're doing something else.、Mm-hmm. Sometimes、uh, your phone has run out of battery, and you gotta charge it.、Uh, things could be really inconvenient when your phone dies. <laughs> you can't really, you know, if someone try to reach you, if you're using Google Maps to get directions, or、mm-hmm. or just figuring out transit time, maybe you need to call a Uber to get home or whatever. Like it's just important to get your phone charged and、uh, have it ready for for things. You know, if things happen, if you need to use it, right? So having stuff like that with you really makes it easier for you to go out there and just do things and be spontaneous because you're not so worried about things、uh, going, you know, poorly to a degree that actually really negatively affect you. You know,、mm-hmm. like you're okay with things going wrong a little bit. You're okay with the、uh, with the range of possibility that 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 is with. That comes with spontaneity, because、mm-hmm. you know you could never be really that bad because you have all the all these things with you already, right? Having some cash on you or whatnot, so so you're not you know out there going to a restaurant after a class because your friend decided that that's what they want to do,、uh, and not being able to pay.、Uh, mm-hmm. And nowadays with your phone, like people have their credit cards or whatnot on there. Right, so there, there, there are just different things that you could do to prepare yourself, so you can be more spontaneous without worrying so much about the the p- potential cons that, that come with it.、Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you do anything like that. Um. Yeah. No. I really like the point where you, you know, you say you prepare for like、uh, spontaneity, like that kind of reminds me. Like I, I didn't even realize it until you mentioned that. I always carry a, a sports bag with me,、mm. um, and then like the little bag, like I have, you know, like hand sanitizer, you know, like, you know, like,、uh, you know, as as a man, we are privileged to pee anywhere we want, you know. Yep. And and you always you always you know want to sanitize, even like getting some food and like kind of like maybe if you go to the park, you know, to eat,、mm-hmm. hand sanitizer is always、uh, a good way for that. Um, you know, like always carry like a water bottle. You know, like yeah, like that. that's huge. That is huge. Yeah, and glasses, big, big thing. Glasses, because you don't know. Like maybe, maybe you go see a movie or some, or like sightseeing or some. I don't know.、Um, but yeah, like I, I always tend to carry things that I need.、Mm-hmm. Um, like wherever I go,、uh, I guess like in a way, it's like having like a purse, right? But it's more、yeah. convenient where it's like on your back, whether you carry it, you know.、Um, yeah, like I guess I never really thought about it that way, like preparing for it. But、yeah. I guess like yeah, like I I do prepare for it. I enjoy it,、um, even if I'm going like I don't know, I'm going down the block. I always carry it with me because you never know like when you might need whatever, right? Yeah.、Um, so yeah, in a way, like that kind of. That kind of brought me to like realization that like, I guess, all these years like I've kind of just had that bag and I didn't really、mm-hmm. know like why,、um, like just other than because I enjoy having that bag around. You know, it's convenient、yeah. first of all.、Yeah. Like you buy like a drink or something, like you want to put it somewhere. You want to hold it. Hold yeah, there's a bag. There、um, we go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I like I like that point a lot.、Um, And yeah, you know, like getting ahead of things, you know, like making making time for yourself、um, to have those moments are always、mm-hmm. important too. Because、um, you know, there's you, there's always that stress where like you have to do some, but then you have like、yeah. an assignment or some due like the next day or like some,、um, and you always want to be prepared for that,、uh, just so it doesn't build up stress, right?、Mm-hmm. Um, that's same as like preparing. Because if you lack something that you need,、um, that you didn't really think of before, like you said, you gotta go back home, or like you know, you gotta like rely on a friend, and it's it's inconvenience、mm-hmm. uh, for you and other people. Whereas if you prepare yourself, it's it's like a more, it's a way of like 
reducing the amount of stress, right? And yeah. you said, you know, there's those like poor moments or like negative moments as well. And I think those are always fun. I think when something goes wrong, it's always more fun, you know, than <laughs> when, when things go right. I guess like in a way it does go right if it goes wrong. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's something to think about because I feel like a lot of people now, like they tend to try their best to plan out their week and, mm-hmm. um, you know, like day by day, hour by hour, like I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Um, and I feel like routine isn't bad, uh, you know, bad necessarily. But I do think having that moment of not knowing, mm-hmm. I think that's what really makes things exciting. Um, yeah. You know, the unexpected, the unpredictable. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I agree with your points there. Yeah. Help me realize that, you know, backpacks are pretty nice, <laughs> um, pretty handy. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you know, people say, uh, that the beauty of the future is, uh, you don't know what's going to happen. Right. So mm-hmm. when you're constantly planning everything to a T it's like, you know, you're kind of robbing yourself of, of, the, of the beauty of not knowing, right? You're kind of making it less exciting and whatnot. So instead of planning out everything, you just, you know, know what you have to do and just kind of have a general idea of, okay, by that mm-hmm. time, I want to be, get this done. So whatever time I have, you know, I have this chunk of time, that's something to work on. Okay, I have some time here that, you know, I might, I might do something. So just be prepared prepared in that sense you don't have to plan everything out completely like that it's Mm -hmm. kind of preparing yourself with all these different things uh so you're so you can be open and more flexible to do other things and still be on top of the things uh that that you really want to get done right Mm -hmm. so it's kind of having that balance so you could kind of get the best of both worlds um there's something else you said that i wanted to touch on (laughs) um I think it goes back to with the bag, right? So one thing you said uh, about being able to put things in as well, right? Not just carrying everything with you and mm-hmm. being able to use those things. Uh, by the way, we should do a kind of like our essentials, you know, kind of copy the style of like those GQ interviews. I know those are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we'll do a video like that in the future. Tune in guys. Uh, but yeah, having a bag with you is absolutely huge in the sense that like you, if you get like drink, if you get other things, you could, you have somewhere to put them. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, if you know, it's going to get cold or it's going to start raining, having, um, a other jacket, a hoodie, or mm-hmm. having an umbrella just allows you these, uh, things that make life easier for yourself and if you just have it with you it's not much effort you don't have to think about it much Mm -hmm. but if anything does happen hey there you have it it's just allowing yourself to be more spontaneous for you to just do these things without the stress right a lot of it a lot of people avoid spontaneity because they feel it to be so stressful like you know they they hate not knowing all these things but when you prepare yourself in a certain way, you kind of think to yourself, what's the worst that could happen? And you're okay, that's not that bad, you know? And all of a sudden it's not, it's not so stressful. But mm-hmm. when you're completely 100% being spontaneous without preparing anything, then when you think about what could go wrong, like it could get pretty scary what could go wrong because <laughs> man, <laughs> so some situation could get yourself in. It's, it's not necessarily, you know, <laughs> where you want to be. Right. So mm-hmm. I think it's important when we're talking about spontaneity that yes, we talk about all the things that are so, you know, good about it. It's also important that we talk about some of the negatives of it, but also ways that you could really just avoid, um, the worst of the negatives and mm-hmm. really just allow yourself to profit from being spontaneous and not have so much stress. Right. Yeah. I think, I think it like, it really does help when you limit, um, you know, like well, what, what type of situations that can happen, mm-hmm. uh, in a way. So like you kind of limit the negatives in a way, there's always going to be negatives and the possibility of negatives. You can't really like, bank on everything's gonna go like oh it's gonna be absolutely great 
That's just not even if you plan everything, like mm-hmm. even if you try to plan absolutely everything, things could just go wrong, and they could go wrong in the ways that you didn't expect. Right? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I wrote a blog post kind of talking about something similar to this that came out this week. Uh, hey, check, check it out, out. guys! <laughs> <laughs> just check out all of our stuff. Easy, come on. <laughs> check out our merch. You know, soon. Yes, um, <laughs> in quotations. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, when you limit the amount of stressful situations that you deal with, it does make everything a lot more enjoyable, and that goes for everything in general as well, not just for like spontaneous, you know, things. Um, you know, like let's say, let's say you know you have an assignment, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, you were talking about how, like, you, you know, like, maybe, like, an hour here, an hour there, right? You could surprise yourself, like, with how much work you can actually get done over the time. And, like, before you know it, like, you're done. Or, like, you're one sentence away, you're good, you know? And um, that's pretty spontaneous, too. You know, if you just, you know what, I have time. I'll do it. I'll do some work. Boom. Spontaneous right there. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't always have to be, like, fun. And, you know, like, it could be, it could be, like, work, too. Yeah. Um, and you, you kind of goes with like everything, you know, um, either like tasks, chores, you know, anything. Um, but I mean, like what we think of spontaneous, we want that fun, you know, like we want, mm. we want to have a good time, you know, want to relax and, you know, kind of just chill out a bit. Um, and that's when preparing and all that really matters. I want to like go way back. Um, to one of the first points you made about, you know, like back then where like without phones and without the constant messaging and like without the constant uh, communication where mm-hmm. it really like, you know, ups the value of uh, and the meaning of friendship, right? And that connection you have with people. I think, um, man, really, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lose power, bro. Um, <laughs> Damn. Well, it's like, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's like, I feel like that that's more like a difference between like forcing a friendship, right? Than like mm-hmm. letting it grow over time. Like yeah. with, uh, you know, like, like a flower or a plant, you can't just water it like 24 seven and expect it to yeah. grow, you know, like you might smother it with water, right? You kind of want to let things, let, let it go on its own, you know, like here and there, you want to water it, right? time Mm -hmm. um and i think that's one of the most important aspects you know giving giving that like individual uh time that independent time between uh, whoever and i think that really helps grow um although you might not know it like it does help that connection and that relationship to grow in between um and yeah like that's that's a lot more natural to then uh, kind of forcing like all oh, like let's do this oh let's do that let's do this you know mm-hmm. you kind of want to be like you know what because like eventually i feel like i feel like if people were to do that so often like wouldn't you just end up doing the same things every week right and you kind of get yeah. bored after a while um because there's only so much you can do right unless you got the money <laughs> but you know <laughs> Um, that's something else we could talk about just funny um, <laughs> but yeah I think uh, I think time is a very uh, good thing to let it you know it's like aging wine um, and there's a quote I think we all know who this is you know um, from a very famous uh, you know person or individual I'd say and you know the past is history tomorrow's a mystery and today's a present that's why it's called a gift master Wu Wei. Uh, <laughs> <Yes. cold man. laughs> yeah <laughs> uh. yeah <laughs> and uh yeah i guess in a way it's just kind of like saying live in the moment i guess and like take away from like things that are now then you know of course you want to take things from the past and you know like maybe 
um, plan out the future, but you don't know for sure what the future holds. Mm-hmm. Right? So you do what's best for you now. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm kind of just ranting. I think I need, <laughs> I think I need more coffee. But oh man, yeah. Uh, no, it's all good. You said something very, very. Uh, you, you spit a lot of truth, man. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> facts only on the Facts Johnny Only yes, sir. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. For sure. Uh, definitely taking uh, the full appreciation of the present. And spontaneity is definitely one of the things that relates so heavily to that. So uh, I definitely agree with that. But like we, we said before, it depends on how you, you interpret it, right? Because there are different things you can do uh, to prepare, right? So you don't have to plan out everything. You have to be. You don't have to be so focused on the future. You can really, you know, appreciate the present and really live in the present and mm-hmm. just take in everything the present moment has to offer, right? And being spontaneous and doing things out of the blue. Um, but if the people get the idea that, you know, the future just, this just doesn't matter at all and you just do uh, whatever all day and, uh, you know, I don't think they'll end up uh, where they will want to be um, when, you know, at some point, like they're just going to realize, hey, this is not where I want to be. Mm-hmm. So you kind of have an idea of kind of, what what are things you want to get done? Where where do you kind of what situation do you kind of want to end up in certain points in the future? It doesn't have to be exact day. It doesn't have to be you know, um, and anything huge. Just ideas that you have in your head that you know for yourself. So you kind of know what you want to do in the present moment, and then and if anything, that just makes it a lot more meaningful, uh, right? with what mm-hmm. you're doing in the because you know that not only uh is it meaningful now but it's working towards something in the future as well mm-hmm. so that also kind of relates to uh, i think we brought this up a little bit in the past maybe we could talk about more of this in the future and that is kind of the journey versus the end goal right mm-hmm. so being in the moment and enjoying each step of the process and really appreciating the journey uh, that that is also huge um Speaking of journeys and spontaneity, I think I think it makes sense that we talk about some of the interesting uh, journeys and the experiences we might have gone on from being spontaneous, right? So for mm-hmm. me, one example that really pops up in my head is uh, back when I went to Italy a few years ago. It was, I think, it was a weekend. Might have been just an afternoon. I'm not completely sure. But we were in Arezzo, which is the town we were staying in. That's kind of where we're based out of. And during the free time, so we would go to other places. But in the morning, we would have classes in this citadel. We would take the bus there. It's not too far away. But we were living in the city of Arezzo, which is a fairly, not that small, but it's a smaller city in Tuscany. So one day, we if it was if it's during the week, we had class and we're back in this afternoon. If it's during the weekend, I'm starting to really think it's during the week. But if it's during the weekend, uh, we didn't have class. But either way, I was just chilling in the apartment um, and the people there, right? We were living together. And, you know, I was just talking to some people because we we talked on the phone right just messages kind of uh deciding where you what, what we're gonna do for weekends uh maybe go out for food maybe just these different experiences and just kind of talking about like uh you know uh if they understood the stuffing material just all kinds of different things that you would talk about just sharing the experience because you saw each other all the time right mm-hmm. but yeah i just got a message hey <laughs> We're thinking about going to the to the beach, by, uh, like at the lake that is not too far away. Uh, do you want to come? So the train station is probably like 15 minute um, uh, walk away from where I was living. And they're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna get on that train, uh, and it's like, hey, yo, this this is like ten minutes from now. <laughs> the the people I was talking to, they live a bit closer. They're about probably like ten, we're within ten minute uh, walk to there. So they pretty much have to leave at that time as well. But I was like, okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm down to go. So I talked to the couple of guys I was hanging out with, and uh, 
well, they couldn't go for some reason. I was, you know what? I'm still down to go. So, I'm, so it's, it's like, hey, let's just do it. So I had all my stuff in my bag. Prepare yourself. Yeah. And then I, I, I just, uh, you know, put on, uh, change my clothes real quick and put on some shoes and just took a light jog to the train station. I made it on time, no problem. And I made it there pretty much the same time they did because, you know, it was actually so weird because it was literally me, literally me and like 12 girls or something like that. Like, <laughs> like, like it, it was a weird situation, man. Like, if weird you ever, or good, George. Weird or good. Oh, uh, yeah, we were all friends, right? And yeah. uh, so it was, it was really chill. But it's also a, a very different dynamic when you're the only mm. guy and everyone else girls, mm. right? I feel like when girls hang out with each other, you know, it, it's different. Uh, between each other than when they're hanging out with guys a lot of the times and mm -hmm. when in that situation they're pretty much just hanging out with girls <laughs> except i was also there <laughs> so i'm like this is a normal dynamic uh like um when guys and girls hang out together you know just being friends like that's that's you know but when girls and girls like no guys they're just hanging out together it's, it is a different dynamic a lot of the times and mm -hmm. i felt like it was more like that dynamic than like the normal uh guy and girl hanging out together friends dynamic that, mm -hmm. that i was more you know used to so it was, it was kind of like huh it's almost it's almost like i'm, I'm just at the girl here <laughs> 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 yeah um but yeah so uh they took a little bit longer um because you know a lot of people had had to get stuff and whatnot so mm -hmm. but we all made it we, we took the train there and we had a great afternoon uh at the lake at the beach and it's just a memorable experience out of being spontaneous and <laughs> very interesting overall um yeah, do you have any experiences <laughs> Uh, off of you know being spontaneous um yeah <laughs> like to touch on uh some points of your story you know that bag always prepared because mm -hmm. um, you leave a lot of the things you need in that bag like anyways mm -hmm. right and it's already there exactly like, you yeah. just grab it and you just go you know so that's always nice um but yeah like how was the beach dude like was it nice like was it like beautiful. it was it was pretty nice i would say uh like i've been to some really nice beaches right and mm -hmm. you can't really compare a beach at a lake to like a beach uh you know like with the ocean right yeah so because i've been to really nice beaches like the caribbean uh back when i was, I was in australia and i just seen a lot of beautiful beaches um, and also that I have been to some lakes out in like Okanagan and whatnot in BC. So mm -hmm. like lake, lake beaches, right? Mm -hmm. And those have been pretty nice. So I would say this was comparable to some of the ones in Okanagan. It oh. was definitely, definitely pretty nice. But at the same time, right? When you, when you're thinking of a beach, that's probably not what you think of. So yeah. in that sense, it wasn't that nice, but the experience as a whole was, was pretty good. When I went, a lot of the times in Italy, like normally during the month of May, the weather is pretty good. It's like, but it rained a lot when I was there. <laughs> like it was like pretty much unprecedented. Like it was very abnormal. But that day the weather was actually pretty good. And um, yeah, and the little town, the the beach was at was pretty charming it mm -hmm. was a lot very local and small so you got more of a sense of kind of how uh kind of life kind of is for local people there you get more sense of authentic italy mm -hmm. right rather than just the big cities mm -hmm. with more tourists without the all the you know incredible architecture and art that comes from the different periods from all the way back with ancient rome you talk about stuff in the in the renaissance and baroque eras and even the influence of mussolini and all these different things that happen right uh, mm -hmm. obviously in different places um, they have all these very powerful families and, and loyal well not well i guess they're royal families uh, back in the day because they were city states essentially right so mm -hmm. instead of all of those that you saw and really appreciated going to a really small place like that 
kind of get, got you a different sense and it was really memorable uh for that as well and also the little bar at the beach the the drinks were not very expensive so that no. was also nice yeah no nah, no nah, it was not i guess it's because it's more local it's not as touristy uh, right mm-hmm. uh compared to like bigger uh, cities especially the main touristy spots mm-hmm. so yeah just had a couple of nice drinks showed at the beach uh with my friends and one thing i didn't do was bring sw- uh, swim trunks oh. um, i don't know if i brought swim trunks to that trip at all mm-hmm. um because that's not something that i really thought about doing yeah. i might have I might have, but mm-hmm. I definitely did not bring them with me uh, to there. Mm-hmm. I also didn't really think I was going to go to the beach because it wasn't like super hot. Right. So yeah. I, was like, I didn't really. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I didn't end up doing that. But pretty much all of them did. So I ended up being like the cameraman <laughs> for, like, <laughs> for like a decent bit of it. Because uh, obviously they want the photos for Instagram and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And uh Everyone just taking a lot of uh, photos as tourists anyways, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, because I wasn't getting the water. And so uh, I kind of took on that role a little bit as well, which is also, you know, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Better than just, you know, sitting in there <laughs> and not doing anything, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, almost quit beach volleyball, but didn't end up doing that. No. Ah. Yeah. Not enough people wanted to do it. And, uh, I wasn't going to ask some random Italian people if I could play with them by myself. (laughs) (laughs) Especially if I, you know, just a couple of them wanted to do it. Yeah, not worth it. Um, Overall, really nice experience coming out of spontaneity. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds great, man. Um, I definitely had, because I live in um, Hamilton, you know, there's not much to do here. There's mm-hmm. a lot of nice, you know, restaurants and stuff, like um, lots of trails and stuff, too. So, like, it's always fun to just go there, you know, with a friend. You know, they look, oh, you just try to go on a trail, bro. I'm like, all right, sounds good. Um, yeah. So, like, there's, like, little spontaneous, like, uh, I guess, events, like, throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say one of the biggest ones was probably on Canada Day. Uh, it's like a few years back and that's how i like that's how i got really close with some friends of mine um so like a few years back right i think this is like okay this is more than a few years this is like five six <laughs> five six years ago <laughs> but, uh, flies, man. yeah man oh but uh so on canada day you know i kind of messaged my friend christian i was like i was like hey man what are you doing uh you know, today for Canada Day. And yep. like, uh, he's like, ah, uh, I don't know. Might be going, you know, to see like the fireworks and stuff with like, uh, with like, you know, like whoever, like people. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, yo, you trying to come? I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I'm down. So um, we met up, like, I think he came over. And then like, we, uh, we, we took the bus there to meet. Um, the others like downtown and it was i think it was just the two or three of them um yeah but then uh basically what happened was like so you know Canada, we walked all the way down to um the beach area and we were watching some fireworks you know and in in hamilton i'd say the walks in hamilton are really nice um oh mm-hmm like you get nice. to really enjoy them, uh, you know, because like, I I think, it's it's planned, for like public transit and like not really like for vehicular like, um, trips I guess because mm. bro if you're driving downtown not not a good idea, <laughs> um, but yeah like so we walked you know an hour two hours down to the bay. And, you know, after the fireworks were done, we were like, oh, okay. Like, I, I was kind of just expecting, like, all right, like, all right, let's let's uh, let's go back, you know, like, let's go home, whatever. Um, but then, like, one of them were like, all right, so what do we do now? So I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm in it, you know? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, <laughs> but I'm in it. Let's continue this ride. 
So we uh we end up walking like up like in Hamilton people call it the mountain, which isn't really a mountain, it's just like a really like big hill. Like a okay. giant rock basically. But we walked all the way up there, we walked you know, like all around the city. Um it was getting late. It was like three AM at that point and we went wow. out around like six. So it's been like a good amount of time. Yeah. Um but yeah, so we kind of just explored a little bit at night. And I think at night it's really beautiful because it's so quiet and peaceful. Um, you know, and you never know what might happen, right? Um so yeah, we, we kinda just walked around, walked by the waters, and then we went up uh, you know, the mountain. Um and then we walked really far. I don't I don't know where, but we walked really far to the outskirts of the city, almost to the to like another city. Like uh, so that was that was like I was like, bro, like I've never been to this part of Hamilton or Burlington. I don't know where we are, <laughs> but you know, we'll find our way back. Um so eventually, you know, we all went back. We're like, all right, you know, like see you next time. And then you know, like a few days later, they're like, uh, I think Christian was like, yo, you down to hang out with them again? I'm like, bro, I'm down, you know? So like, it became almost like a, like a routine, I'd say. And then like, this happened for like, like maybe like a few summers where like, um, every week or so, Mm uh, we would take our time, you know, like we meet up around like seven or eight and then we would walk, just walk, just enjoy ourselves, maybe to like a bar. Like, you know, like views or some like trails or stuff, you know, grab some food, play some pool and then kind of just walk to like 3, 4 a.m. And that was wow. really enjoyable. Like, honestly, it's not like a really like a big event, but mm-hmm. I'd say it what made it really fun was just the people. Right. And yeah, uh, just getting really close with them uh, in such a short period of time as well. Yeah. and really like forming strong bonds and like you know later on like like uh having like that as like you know like a best friend kind of like group thing yeah um and yeah and uh another spontaneous event though during that spontaneous event mm-hmm. uh we got jumped <laughs> oh wow <laughs> <laughs> i mean when you're out that late regularly the chances of that happening is definitely higher yeah especially in (laughs) hamilton too yeah Um, but basically it was like the four of us uh Mm -hmm. usually because like um it was five on canada day but then like uh it kind of just became like the four of us um um but yeah so like you know like us four we split up and we're like okay like we'll grab something at the convenience store or something like while uh, the other two kind of just chill Okay. So while we were like, you know, like while we went to the convenience store and on our way back, like, um, it's a long story. I'll tell it another time, but basically okay. there were like a group of six and it was just us two. And then it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Okay. Um, got into a fight. Uh, I broke my nose. Oh, uh, but at the end of it, like we came out unscathed basically. Okay. Um, so it was pretty chill, like in, in the worst way possible, it was pretty chill. Um, <laughs> and then while we were doing that, the other two, like there's some like, like really old, like, I don't even know if it was old, but like, like a homeless, like lady, right. Okay. And they were being accused of stealing her drugs as she was. <sighs> yeah and this happening at the same time basically <laughs> and when we met up we're like bro we were both like you won't believe what happened to us <laughs> <laughs> so Dang. that was pretty spontaneous yeah um, what a story man yeah but yeah oh, what a what a story mark how, how does it go the room man oh, always hi, goes back mark. to the room it's uh, so good man um that's a pretty good movie if you guys haven't seen it it's uh it's like you know those movies are like that were made in all seriousness but it's so bad it's good now um 
Love it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many quotable lines. The way he delivers them, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was definitely yeah. a very interesting experience coming out of, uh, you know, it's being spontaneous. And mm-hmm. I would say that, you know, one of the nice things about being in the a- area that you know with people that you kind of uh, have known for a long time especially like during summer when there isn't as much going on, right? Mm-hmm. You you get to have these kind of more spontaneous experiences more frequently. Maybe someone mm-hmm. hit you up, hey, let's go to the beach. Hey, uh, you know, want to go play soccer or basketball or get grab food, uh, do you get a drink at the bar? Like, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a drive? All these just little things. Mm-hmm. Um, also, other times, maybe, you know, uh, you hit them up, hey, wanna wanna go for a hike? And just these back and forth, uh, out of the blue kind of plans being made just because everyone's in the area, everyone has some, a bit more time. And these things, they could just happen. Mm-hmm. And yeah, honestly, that's definitely one of the nice things about being in an area that you know with people that you have known, right? And not something that you could necessarily experience in other settings. I would say that being in university, a lot of people don't necessarily have the most busy schedules of war, uh, care to put in all the work and time into doing things. Mm-hmm. And in universities, if you want to focus on the social aspects, like uh, I would say a decent amount of people do, you can also have a lot of those kind of uh, spontaneous events that kind of happen, right? Just because there there's things happening around campus in the city, you know, downtown, and just various um, things that you're able to do. So uh, at university, you definitely meet a lot of people. So yeah, uh, definitely something to think about is that, hey, you know, if if you're not uh, the most academically focused person, or if you're not, uh, if you're not in a program that's that intense, this might be something you might look forward to. It might not be for everyone. Like for me, you know, that's definitely not something I do. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that one spontaneous experience I had relating to that was this summer, right right after my final presentation was done for my research project. And right before I was flying back home for like three weeks, uh, one, my first year roommate and uh, someone I keep in touch with once in a while and have had classes with a lot, especially in the past. But, you know, now everyone's busy, right, especially in my mm-hmm. program and just a lot going on. And in third year, especially, I onwards, you're in different modules because mm-hmm. there's like 20 plus modules that you would go into. So, uh, yeah, he was free and I was free on the same night. And he reached out to me out of the blue, say, hey, want to wanna go downtown and just grab a drink and catch up. And it was a really nice experience. Mm-hmm. And everything just fell, fell into place and something very memorable for sure. So, yeah, I really, really appreciate these experiences that come out of spontaneity, whether they're smaller or bigger. There are definitely a lot that could come out of it as, as we've, kind of talked about here so if you're if you're kind of rejecting spontaneity just think about what we said before there are ways you can reduce the stress and prepare yourself for it and mm-hmm. there are so many cool and memorable and meaningful experiences you could get out of it and yeah definitely promote it <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah honestly um you know i know a lot of people you know might not enjoy that mm-hmm. um and I've definitely like known like people who who like to plan things out, you know, like have it go like certain ways and stuff. Expectations, um, maybe like they've had one bad experience, you know, with spontaneity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why they prefer it that way. But overall, I'd say even if you've had um, a bad experience or like you've never, you know, like really wanted to experience um, something like that. I'd say go for it, you know, like if someone just randomly like, you know, hits you up or like a random plan happens, um, just say yes, you know, like see how far that'll go. Um, and yeah, you know, kind of just relax and and uh, like kind of kick back and, and see everything unfold, you know, mm-hmm. and not try to grasp, 
mm-hmm. I, I guess like control the situation yeah. a, and uh, let the situation I guess in a way like control you mm-hmm. um, and yeah you know I, I think it's good for everyone to have at least one positive experience and maybe like see how that goes but um, yeah overall I think uh, it's a very it's a very good thing to have in life you know it really keeps you on your toes yeah um especially you know sometimes like you know when you don't know but like you might need it the most and it happens Mm -hmm. and you're like you know what yeah like that really uh that really helped you know and sometimes you could go into just straight up life-changing experiences like literally people Mm -hmm. have like not from our stories here but like you look online you talk to your friends you talk to like just people around you like some of some people could tell you these type of stories like they, they exist out there and more frequently than you might think mm-hmm. and with some of the stuff you said it made me think of yes theory with uh, their idea of seek comfort and then all of that and it's definitely a really cool uh, concept that, that they are promoting and if you watch some of their videos like a really cool uh situation that they put people in they put themselves in and mm-hmm. a lot of that is being spontaneous a lot of that is having that aspect of uh discomfort and not knowing and really when you look at it overall you, yeah you get a lot of benefits out of it right mm-hmm. uh, obviously don't be a yes man right yeah. don't just say yes to everything all the time like just just kind of know who know yourself a little bit more and what you want that is absolutely huge and mm-hmm. that's another topic i want to talk about uh, on a different episode <laughs> but we always give hints in, like almost every single one of our episode of other topics we want to talk about yeah. and we've actually talked about quite a few of them so we're not mm-hmm. just saying it. we really do have other topics that we're <laughs> going to talk about little teas here and there you know sneak peeks exactly exactly oh, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know if you want to touch up on anything on that because there's one last point I want to get to, which relates back to something you were saying earlier. Uh, no, I'm good. Go ahead. All right. Well, I just want to say that like uh, what I said towards the very beginning about how people uh, nowadays being so uh, available to contact, right? And you're able to just message back and forth and FaceTime and all of those things. And then you talked about it uh further and now i want to talk a bit more about it (laughs) uh because i just thought of this like one Mm. of the things that nowadays that happens is that you know you go to school and you see everyone every single weekday and a lot of time you hang out with them after school you do extracurricular activity with them you know with sport teams with clubs with band with all kinds of uh different types of extracurricular activities and then on the weekend maybe you're hanging out with them again maybe you're doing other uh, extracurricular activity or you know because everyone lives in the same neighborhood or community or just same general area you could be doing things um with the local sport team with with local activities that that ends up you know seeing them again so you're in constant contact with these people but as mm-hmm. you get older even with university you're not going to be with the same people all the time mm-hmm. except for maybe your roommates but a lot of times they have you know different schedules a lot of times they're you know, with the university, you're busy, especially if you're trying to have a social life as well. A lot of time, you're not going to just be at home. So even if you have roommates, you don't necessarily see them that often, actually. Mm-hmm. So and with university classes, for the most part, a lot of it is going to lectures and just listening and taking notes. And you're not really interacting as much. Now, some classes, you know, you might get more of that type of thing of interacting, of engagement in that sense. And smaller class classes make it easier for you to kind of get to know people. And that also depends on your school and your program and all of that. But I'm just saying in general, especially from my experience here, uh, mm-hmm. it definitely feels like a lot of it just lecture based and you just take notes and that that's kind of all there is to it and then you get assessments by assignments and tests and quizzes and maybe group projects but even then uh you know not necessarily the most uh suitable situation for socialization um 
but yeah, like I'm just saying, like you're so used to seeing the same people all the time from your high school and even elementary school, right? And then with the technology, like we mentioned before, you're able to communicate all the time as well. You could play video games together as well. There's just so many things you could do using the internet and the devices that we have, the softwares that we have, that a lot of people nowadays, as they're getting older, they're so used to that, right? And when they can't see people all the time because they're so used to it they have ways like we've described to communicate with them all the time and i just think that that isn't something people actively think about like we've said earlier there is a lot of value to be gained by not constantly communicating with everyone you know all the time we're just sharing every single thing that happened in your life on every single platform um and just having that space for your relationship to develop naturally you know whenever you actually reach out it's because they're thinking of them want to know how they're doing and they wanted to kind of uh catch up and all of that and those experiences are definitely more memorable and oftentimes are meaningful right so mm. I, i'm just trying to think about why like a lot of people kind of are so almost codependent in a way, right? Almost kind of uh, obsessed with just constantly talking to everyone. Um, and that's kind of kind of how I think we might have gotten there because we're so used to it uh, from high school. And then without that aspect, we have these things to rely on, which a lot of people were doing anyway back in, the, back in high school, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. especially group chats and whatnot D like, if you're in a group chat for like sports team or whatnot you almost have like a few people who are always just constantly messaging the chat like bro what are you what, what are you saying <laughs> like, what, what are you doing man uh, like, <laughs> but as people you know don't get to see everyone all the time and they they want to keep up with that aspect it's so used to it. it's almost like a habit i feel like that's what they do and Instead of that, like I said, you, you get a lot out of kind of cutting down on that, cutting back on that and have things be more spontaneous, be less uh, frequent, have things be more kind of out of the blue. Like, yeah, you know, you reach out to someone once a week, once two weeks, once a month and uh, and that type of out of blue, but still relatively frequent interaction is what a lot of times make relationships and friendships grow more naturally and more strong and meaningful and have it last easier, right? And it definitely helps with people nowadays who have a lot of codependency issues and whatnot. Um, I feel like part of that is also like some of the TV shows you see, like Friends, How I Met Your Mother, some of those shows, like, I don't know, man, those types of like friendship between those people get... Not, not necessarily. It's pretty toxic in many yeah. ways. And when you're constantly exposed to that young age and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a different topic. But I'm just saying spontane spontaneity in this aspect uh, is huge for you to break out of some of the habits you've gotten used to from your experience growing up and the technology that's available to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the point where you uh, made, you know, like kind of people kind of rely on socializing you know or like communication with like other people like really frequently um as like a i guess a way of uh, dealing uh i guess mm. with uh lonely uh, coping lonely. mechanism yeah coping mechanism boom all right there you go thanks <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> <laughs> He's got too much power. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think it's a it's a way of people coping with, um, you know, maybe like experiences, experiences, uh, experiencing fuck, <laughs> um, ex experiencing uh, the lack of. Uh, like a social i guess uh bubble mm. um and you know people cope that way just because i guess they get so used to it right and when it gets yeah. i guess taken away from them they kind of feel like like a whole lot of them part of them were maybe taken away as well and that's why they they reach hard to 
get that right um you know i don't want to go like too in depth with this yeah but, like it's also like uh you know how you were saying like growing up like in a certain way can really uh you know give you like a routine like a habit of things right um especially you know school and stuff like that and also also just like man i had a good point but i kind of lost some i don't know where i'm going with this honestly um i'm gonna try to think like in like five seconds if i don't got it i don't got it let's see um Yeah, man. I don't think I got it, bro. All right. No, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, it good. happens all the time. It's very normal. You've seen professors do this in lectures. It's pretty Lamel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to say uh, is that, yeah, we definitely should do <laughs> other teaser guys. So, we should do an episode on a kind of just... Uh, maybe not straight up codependency, but just kind of relationship in general. And... Uh, I guess just relationship between people in general nowadays mm-hmm. and some of the, the trends that you, you see more frequently and just how that is. But yeah, definitely a lot to talk about in that in that topic, that area. You could probably split up into multiple topics. Uh, we'll see how we want to do it. But yeah, something very interesting to think about. And one of the ways to kind of deal with that is kind of think about using spontaneity as a way to make things more meaningful for you, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's pretty much all the things I kind of want to touch on uh, for this. Maybe if Lorenzo was here, <laughs> we would go into other uh, aspects of spontaneity, but those mm-hmm. are kind of the ideas that, that I was thinking of. So if there's any other kind of sides to it, aspects to it that you want to touch on, now would be the time to bring up. Uh no not really no. Yeah. Uh, I think we've touched on a lot of good points definitely um, maybe we can continue you know like another time with Lorenzo uh, yeah. as well be here. I um, have received a message from Lorenzo during the podcast saying mm-hmm. how he fell asleep somehow <laughs> uh, okay uh, he said he might write a blog post about spontaneous naps uh, you know what let's let's hope he actually does that you know <laughs> Uh-huh. We'll, we'll suggest that he actually write a blog post out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it from us in terms of the main part, the main topic of spontaneity. So we'll end with a segment, highlights of the week. It's just going to be two of us. So how was your week? How, uh, how did uh, things go this past week, Raymond? It was interesting to begin with. Um you know some unprecedented situations but yesterday uh uh our good friend christian uh came up and uh, we went to play some pool and stuff you know haven't really talked to him in a while Mm -hmm. or hung out with him in like a few months so you know that's always nice it was a good time you know um yeah just our overall really good experience really fun time and you know kind of always nice to catch up yeah mm-hmm. uh yeah what about you uh well i came back to school after my reading week in vancouver and uh the weather is pretty good so far this week it's gonna get worse but it's nice to come back to decent weather Mm -hmm. right so that's i would say that is a highlight for sure um those assignments working on all reading week so glad that's done because like even with school happening having that having no major assignment like that makes it a lot easier so i'm glad that assignment was you kind of uh hand it out before reading we can do by the end of it mm-hmm. or i get started this week so it was kind of uh, a way of balancing things out so it's a nice you know it's nice how the schedule ended up working out that way mm-hmm. i wouldn't have too many highlights uh last you know last week back in vancouver was definitely you know a highlight but yeah I, after i got back haven't done that much 
Uh, I know. Just been chilling, <laughs> just been relaxing. Uh, let me know. I would say there's still like stuff to work on, right? So just be mm-hmm. working on those, and they think like, okay, you know, uh, mm-hmm. there's definitely a lot more to do, but they're not that difficult. Then they will take some time, but they won't take that much time. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I'll say the highlight is things being pretty decent. Mm. <laughs> the I mean, highlight always, is, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, it's always good when things aren't going terribly wrong. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. so the highlight <laughs> is that there's no low lights. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's a nice way to put it. And that's a nice way to finish it off. And uh, next week, Lorenzo should be back. Uh, unless he falls asleep again, we can't wake him up. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. And who knows? Maybe we'll have a guest. Uh, I've been talking to some people. Uh, it doesn't matter which week the guy should come on. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this week's episode. And we'll see you again next week. Thank you for listening. Thank you.